And then the last thing to do is to pop the star on top. <laughs> Why have you gone all good, guys? Hey guys, welcome back to a new video. You may notice if you look around, there are literally no edibles. No animals in the house right now. It's like the saddest thing ever. We have just got back from Manchester. We met loads of you guys at the Digital Kids Show. Literally hundreds and hundreds of you and it was absolutely awesome. We're here for like two days, like today and tomorrow, and then we fly off to Dubai to GamerCon, which is the first time we'll have been to Dubai, the first time we'll have done anything like that. So that's gonna be really cool as well. But it means that the cats are staying with my parents and Evie is staying with Ali's parents. And this house doesn't have any animals in it, like for the first time ever. And it's really, really weird. But it could be a good thing because I kind of think they might interfere a little bit with today's video. It's gonna be something really, really cool that we're gonna be doing with you guys today that I cannot wait to show you. And it's also Christmas related. We're almost in December. No, we're not. We're just in November. But still, we're getting really close to December. I'm feeling like super Christmassy and excited, so I cannot wait to show you guys what we have planned for this video. And as you can see, I had to do a lot of shopping for today's video, so it's gonna be good, you guys, you can just tell. So you may remember, was it was it like a month ago? A little bit more, a little bit less? I have no concept of time, no concept of time, but I did a really cool video with the HP Sprocket device. It basically lets you print photos from your uh, phone, from Instagram, from Facebook, it's super cool. And I created a brand new background that we made upstairs in my setup room. I printed off pictures of you guys, pictures that you sent me, and we made a really, really cool new backdrop. We're gonna be doing something a little bit similar with this printer again today. So, I actually mentioned this in a video like a week or so ago. I was like, we need to make my background more Christmassy. So when we're doing like the Sims Christmas episodes and all that kind of a thing, we have a cool Christmassy background. Cause right now, it's not looking very jolly back there. And you guys are super keen on the idea as well. So today, we're gonna be christmassy fine my background. And we're gonna be doing it with pictures of you guys as well, using the HP Sprocket printer. So. I actually have a little package that we need to open, which is also Christmassy themed. Today's Christmassy, guys. I hope, I hope I'm playing Christmas music in the background. If I'm not, please complain in the comments because I should be playing Christmassy music for you guys. So here is our little package. And inside here, there is some Christmassy things. There's also paper, which I'm gonna be needing. This is the paper that you print with on the device because I'm gonna be obviously printing a lot more stuff today. If I can get at this out of the box, which is not going so well. Oh my god. Meh. <laughs> Come out! There we go. So, this right here is the limited edition gift box for the HP Sprocket. It's kind of like a Christmassy, Black Friday kind of vibe. And it has lots of cool stuff in it. So, we're going to get inside there and take a little look. Okay, guys. Yeah, so, here is our little box. I'm really excited for this because I actually genuinely love that printer so much. I don't know how to get in. I think it's such a clever way to make sure that all those memories that you create on your phone... Oh my god. Oh my god. Do any of you guys have this? I have this thing. What? It's making me cringe so bad. I can't touch or scrape cardboard with my fingernails or else like... If it, uh, it's freaking me out hard. Oh, I can't touch it. I can't touch it. Um, I'm gonna go get some scissors. Literally, this is like one of my phobias, you guys. Let me know if... Any, I've got a knife, by the way. But let me know if any of you guys have this as well. Like, if... If I was in a locked room and they were like, this room's gonna set on fire, you need to get the key out of the cardboard box using only your fingernails. I would burn. I would burn, baby burn. Okay, so this is our sprocket. We obviously already have sprockets, so now I have two, you guys. And, and, and next month is December. I want to do like an advent calendar thing on my channel where I'm gonna be doing giveaways like throughout December. If you guys like that idea, let me in the comments below. I wanna make this one of the prizes. So keep a little eye out for that because you could be winning one of these on my channel. I'm just kind of hoping I can get it organized because I have so, like, we're away so often and we've barely been at home. So it's been a little bit of a struggle trying to get things organized and recorded. Never mind an advent calendar kind of setup. So another cute little sprocket. I've already said before how much I love the way that this looks. It's kind of like white and rose gold. And it's just so pretty. Like you would quite happily put that in your bag and whip that out and print and everyone would be like, oh yeah, your printer is so pretty. And you'd be like, yeah, no. And then this is where it's, oh my God, the cardboard, the, ah, the cardboard, I can't touch it. Don't try this at home, kids. This is not the correct way to open the box. 
I am just a freak. I am literally just a freak when it comes to cardboard. So this is our little Christmas -y. It's kind of Black Friday sort of vibe from the printer. This is different to the original one I bought because it's a special edition one. It means we get this. Oh my God, I was just saying, you could put this in your bag and whip it out. Check this out guys. A little curry case to just pop your little sprocket inside. Put it in there, put some like paper in this little bit as well. And it just fits in really nicely. You can just, just kind of carry it around with you. And I'm kind of liking the case. Pretty trendy, more like rose gold vibes. And then this bit is really cool. So this is like a little photo album that you can put all of your sprocket pictures in. And check this out. I love it. It's got like the, um, I'm just gonna let you guys see that close up. It's got the doodles and stuff that they have in the, um, the bit where you can edit your picture and add all this stuff. It's like the same sort of vibe and I said before how much I love that doodle thing. You will also be able to put like a picture on this little cover out here. So I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna print more pictures of you guys and I will fill this photo album with pictures of you all and I'm gonna put a picture on the front and it's just a really, really nice way of storing them. And then guys, just in case you thought like that was maximum cool, it gets even better because what you can do is there's a voucher I get it, this is like the voucher that you get inside. And with this voucher, you can print a picture and put it on the front of your sprocket. So it will go across this bit and it will be like personalized to you. So like you could put a picture of your friends on there, a picture of like anything that you thought was cool. And I think you guys can guess what I would put on there. I would definitely, definitely put a picture of Labine and maybe if I can get one of the cats as well, maybe all three of them, they can like squish them all together try and make them look happy, I would print that picture on the front of the sprocket and I'm actually gonna definitely do that. You get a code, you go online and you put your wrap on the front of the HP sprocket and it's just gonna look really, really cool. So keep an eye out on my Twitter because when I fill, when I fill it in online and it comes and I stick it on, I will show you guys how it looks. And if you guys get the Submit Edition gift box and you guys do the wrap as well, please, please, please tweet me how it looks on the front of your printer when you get it done because I want to see what designs you get as well. Okay, so the good news is because I've met so many of you guys at Digital Kids, so many of you guys at Ali's book signings and all that kind of thing, I have so many pictures that I can't wait to print out and add to my setup, add to my new Christmas Eve setup and some of the ones I had before I'll be able to add as well. So I'm just gonna go through my phone, have a quick look, grab some of those pictures while I'm eating a little bit of lunch. This is like my new lunch obsession at the moment. It's avocado, pesto and chicken. It's actually not chicken, it's fake chicken. So it's like, it's frickin', it's frickin'. It is literally so yummy. And then I've got my little coffee in the see-through cup that you guys always see me have in my videos. Let's go through my kind of, I know, it's a bit of a sad sort of broken phone, but it's got all the pictures and that's exactly what we need. Let's find some pictures to print off and put in my Christmassy setup. looks at the moment so we can see what we can Christmasify and I'm gonna warn you guys it's a little bit messy in here just a little, a little tiny bit messy I've also been adding loads of the stuff that I got from you guys at all the signings and the meet and greets so let me show you some of that stuff and if any of it's yours please drop a comment so you can let me know that you've seen it and it makes me very happy that you guys know I actually genuinely love it when you give me this stuff and I care and I look at everything and I read everything and I want to show everything in videos just so that you guys know. So look, we've got a Sylvian EX card, a little picture, which I think is a little, little Beanerino. We've got some slimes drawn up here. 
Another picture of Evie on her lead. We've got beautiful letters. We've got a drawing of Sylveon, a drawing of me, a drawing of me and Ali. I love how you guys always get my hair right as well. I love that so much. Another awesome drawing and letter that I've read. A cute little keyring here. Another drawing of me and Ali, and another drawing of me and Ali. An awesome drawing of me, and another awesome drawing of like Simclair there. How cool is this picture of Evie as well? And look at this. How cool is this? One of you guys gave me this and I was literally like, this is the coolest thing ever. More slimes and of course the awesome picture of all of my Simlims, which I love so much. Another picture of me and little beanie there. Check out how cute this little, little, little good luck charm is as well. There's me walking Evie and another awesome picture of Evie. And another picture of little Lilith there as well. Literally so, so much cool stuff from you guys. And I just love it all so, so much. And of course, here is what we made last time. I'm like falling over my setup here. Got a little flower edition from one of you guys at Manchester. But this is our awesome celebration of all of you guys that we made the last time we did one of these videos. In fact, if I turn this light off, you can see it all lighting up looking super, super cute. And obviously we printed all of these off on the sprocket and made this awesome, awesome collage. So this is what we need to make a little bit more Christmassy so that in all of my videos from kind of now onwards, you're gonna be seeing the Christmassy background and hopefully it's gonna be giving you guys some more Christmassy vibes. Which brings me on to all of this stuff here. Because we need to make a Christmassy setup for my room upstairs. Let me show you everything I've got you guys. All of it is either from uh, Primark because I figured Anything I can get you guys can probably drop into your promo I can get as well if you wanted to do something similar. And some of it is from Heather Chase as well. So I actually bought a Christmas tree, you guys, because here is what I'm thinking. I'm thinking we print out the pictures. And then we use these little clips here to clip them onto the tree and they kind of become baubles. That was my thinking. I thought that would look really cool. I've also got some little tiny baubles to put on the tree as well. Just some extra little decorations. And then this tinsel I'm probably going to put on the shelves behind me. I went for white and rose gold because it's the same color as the sprocket. Being very, very organized there, you guys. I got this just, I thought it would look quite cool. It's like a little tree and a little light bulb inside. I don't know. I thought we could wrap some lights around it. Because I've bought a lot of lights, they'll be both for the tree and my setup, but just basically more little cute sort of LED lights to go around it as well. That's Sally's. I don't know how that got in there. More lights, more little baubles around the setup. Lots of lights. I just, I really like having lights in my setup. And then under here, so shush, don't tell Ali this. This book I got and I was kind of thinking that I would print out loads of pictures of the sprocket like documenting our relationship and fill it all in the book, give it him for Christmas and then I thought we could kind of add to it just over time and it would be kind of like a little book documenting our relationship. Don't tell him, don't tell him, don't tweet him or anything. I don't know, I like that kind of stuff. I know people, some people think it's a little bit lame but I love, I love that kind of stuff. I love like cutesy stuff that has like me and stuff like that I know I know he's gonna like it because we both like that kind of thing a lot so I'll be using my sprocket for a really long time uh, but I'm gonna try and document like our relationship hopefully I can get it done in time because we are pretty busy at the moment but I think it's gonna look really really cool uh, after Christmas until given to him I will show you guys it in a video so please remind me okay guys so I'm feeling super super organized for this I've got my little printing set up here where all my, I've got some of the pictures from last time which I can reuse. I've got my little printer all set up ready to go. I've got some of the pictures of when I met you guys ready to use. And then as the pictures are printing, I'm gonna be starting to decorate that tree and get some of those little bits down there ready as well. It's gonna be a pretty impressive operation. I also can decorate the pictures before I print them. I'm gonna see if there's any way I can make them look a little bit Christmassy and I'll use those ones on the tree. Okay guys, so here is what I'm kind of thinking we do to make all the baubly ones look similar. I've put like a little Merry Christmas message here. You can add little emojis and stuff to it. So it looks really pretty. And then I've gone for these like little stars and stuff along the top. I've done all this one in white and blue. I may do some of the others like in a different white and a different color. And then I've made the picture like black and white as well. Just because I think it looks really pretty like that. And this is one of the pictures from when I've met one of you guys in Manchester. So I love that so much. We're going to send that over to Le Printer. I'm going to add it to the queue for now. And then I'm going to create a few more okay so I've got them ready to go 
I think that they look really, really good. I'm gonna let you guys watch them print out while I start to put the lights and stuff on this tree. Let me know what you think in the comments below and let me know if one of your pictures got chosen. I'm feeling really Christmassy now. Okay guys, so here we go. All the beautiful pictures. I did do them all in like different colors. Hopefully you guys like the way they look. If you've not been chosen for this, don't worry because I've still got loads of print pictures to print. I'm still gonna be putting up loads of stuff from behind. A lot of this is actually from uh, Manchester over the weekend, obviously apart from this one. That I decided to choose as well is a picture of me and my grandma. And I just wanted to take this time to say thank you guys. So, so much for all the tweets you sent while I was up north last week for my grandma's funeral. Um, if you guys didn't know, I did a speech at the funeral. It was a very personal speech um, and it went really, really well. I was actually saying to Ali, I was like shaking in the church because I was like so cold. I couldn't have a coat on because I was kind of nervous. But I really just wanted to get up there and make the speech. And once I'd done it, like I, I, I feel like I did a really, really good job. Like I know everyone just like you say that, but I honestly just went up there and I just wanted to do her proud. And I wanted to speak really passionately and just show her like how much she meant to me and all the amazing things that she did for me and all my grandchildren. And I just got up there and I felt like I really just delivered that. and. I felt like I made her proud and I felt really good about it. And literally, as soon as I finished and sat down, it's like, it was just like night and day. Like my headspace was so much better and I've been so much happier since. So I'm really, really glad I did it. And I feel like it was a really nice way for, for I feel like it was a really nice way for me to kind of say goodbye. And I've, I've just felt so much happier since. So thank you for everybody that sent um, a tweet and everything. Just, and Ali put up a really nice tweet saying that I did really well. And lots of people came up to me afterwards and said I did well. And it just, I don't know, it was what I needed to do. And that's why I, I just wanted, like this will be my first Christmas without my grandma. So I just wanted to print something that kind of reminded me of her and just make sure she was kind of in this too. So thank you so much if you sent a tweet. I did read a lot of them, but I read them a lot after and I wasn't on my phone at all that day. But thank you guys so, so much. So while the uh, printer has been printing, I have been busy putting all the baubles and lights on this tree. Oh, I'm kicking my, my batteries across the floor. Okay, I'm gonna switch it on. How pretty does this look? I cannot wait to get all of those little pictures on. I need to get these little clips now. I got rose gold clips as well. Like I'm clearly going a bit mad on rose gold again. And I'm gonna pop these clips onto the little pictures and let's see how they're gonna look on the tree. I love doing these videos because I feel like I feel like I turned into some kind of DIY queen. Okay, so this is literally what I'm thinking. I think it's the kind of thing that's gonna work better if it's a little bit more basic. Oh wow, this is not... <laughs> Try... What am I even doing trying to do this with one hand? Okay, that's better. Trying to do this with one hand is not easy. So I'm gonna clip them on like this and then clip them onto the tree. So it's just kind of like a little... It's like a special little picture bauble and I think it looks really cool. So here's what I was thinking. Once you've got it on here like this, you can kind of like hook this onto the tree. Th this is not easy to do one hand, I'm not gonna lie to you guys. You can kind of slide it onto the tree like that. I kind of want to do it with both sides so you don't just have like a little piece of metal hanging off. And then when it's done, you have a picture and a tree. How cool is that? Okay, we need to add all the rest. And here they are all on the tree. And then the last thing to do is to pop the star on top. <laughs> Why have you gone all cock -eyed? There we go. <laughs> there we go. How pretty does that look? Oh my gosh, I love that. I actually feel like I might print one more off of here. There's a little gap. But I think that's looking really cool. I also got this little one here. I need to pop some batteries in it. But I've also popped some lights around the side. Again, I need some more batteries. And then I need to go pop all of these upstairs as well.
guys, so as you can see, the sheer amount of Christmasiness in this setup now is actually insane. Like, if you don't feel Christmassy watching this video, there's something wrong with you because we have so much Christmas stuff. It's actually unbelievable. <sighs> I actually feel exhausted from setting that up and running up and down stairs with batteries and everything, but let me know what you guys think. I know it's kind of like extreme Christmassy, but it's gonna be in the background of every single one of my videos, so I wanted to make sure you definitely know. <laughs> definitely know it's the Christmasiness. And if you guys spotted as well, I actually added loads and loads of those extra pictures. In fact, let's have a quick look, like close up at the setup behind me so you guys can see if you can spot any of the pictures you sent. And so you can fully bask in all of the Christmas glory. video look out for those advent calendar giveaways I was mentioning and also look out for a new feature I think I'm gonna try in December called festive Friday it's a little bit like spooky Sunday but obviously it's a little bit more festive and don't forget to check out my link in the description below so you can find out a little bit more information about that limited edition HP sprocket with the really cool curry case with the little photo album and of course with the voucher code that lets you create your own wrap to print off and put on the front of your HP sprocket which I'm definitely gonna be getting a little EV version and I will show you guys on Twitter to so keep a little eye out for that and if you do decide to get HP sprocket and you create some something a little bit like this maybe a little bit less crazy i don't know but if you do please please tweet me i really really want to see what you guys create and don't forget to keep tweeting me your pictures your pictures where you've met me any pictures you've drawn any edits you do anything like that because we're gonna keep adding to the setup and when i move i'll be making it even bigger and hopefully in the new year i will have completed the ali our storybook and i can show you guys a little bit of that as well so hopefully you guys enjoyed this video if you did please give it a big cheeky thumbs up let me know in the comments below and don't forget to share this video if you enjoyed it and i'll see you guys in another video bye